All right, Brooklyn. Brooklyn takes game one. They win 104-93. Wow. Um, I'm going to say this right now. The Nets, they did not look like they had their chemistry in order. There are still a lot of um, chemistry issues there. They, they weren't, you know, they haven't played together that much. So the chemistry obviously isn't going to be able to be there right off the bat. They're not going to be clicking to start off. So game one was really just a show of them not really being completely together in terms of their chemistry. Yet despite the fact that their chemistry is not together, Durant dropped 32, Kyrie dropped 29, Harden dropped 21. They took over in the second half, and the Celtics had no chance to beat them in the fourth quarter. That's scary. That is scary. Their chemistry isn't all there. Durant shot 10 for 25 today, and he finished with 32 points. They were clearly just trying to get things in order. They haven't played together that much, so they're trying to get themselves into rhythm and work out that chemistry. Yet you get 32 from Durant, 29 from Kyrie, and 21 from James Harden. That is frightening. That is frightening. Boston, feel proud. In some case, I'm talking to Celtics fans. Celtics players are not happy right now. They didn't want to lose that game. They're competitors. If you're a Celtics fan, feel proud. You know, you were in this game until the very end for the most part. You know, Boston, let me tell you something. Boston came out the start of this game, and they were in attack mode. A straight up attack mode. Jason Tatum was doing his thing. Set seven points early on in the first quarter. He was doing his thing. The Celtics in the first half were doing their thing. They were shooting the ball so well. They were connecting. They were hitting their shots, making their free throws, just being aggressive. They were playing great defense against the um, Nets. The Nets actually did not shoot well from the three-point line today. In the first half, they really struggled to hit any threes. And the Celtics honestly were taking advantage of that. And because of that, they went into halftime with the lead. Not of that big of a lead. By the second quarter, we started to see that Brooklyn started to get it together, especially towards the half. They started getting it together, and so the big lead that they start they gave themselves started to be slowly chipped away. Then we got into the third quarter, and then, you know, the Nets continued to chip away at that lead until eventually they tied it up, and then they took the lead themselves, and, it was, and you know, they kind of ended the third quarter with that lead. And then once they got in the fourth quarter, it was a wrap, G. It was a wrap. There's nothing the Celtics could do. Nothing the Celtics could do. One, one, as soon as KD started cooking... The game was over. KD started cooking. Harden was hitting step back threes. Kyrie was cooking. Everybody, look at this. The three combined for 82 points tonight. 82 points. They haven't been playing that. They haven't played much games together this season. This was the first game for them to really work out that chemistry moving forward for the postseason. Yet despite that, the big three put up 82 points tonight. Good God Almighty. Oh, my God. The Eastern Conference is in trouble. If this is what you're going to get moving forward, the Eastern Conference is in trouble. Boston, you played a hell of a game. I think Jason Tatum had 22 points. Kemba, I don't know what Kemba was doing. Oh, Kemba. Celtics fans don't know what to do with Kemba anymore. Honestly, I don't, I don't know what to say about Kemba. Anymore. I swear to God, like, the team could be down 40 points. This dude's still smiling and acting like nothing's wrong. I, I don't know. Kemba... Celtics fans, you tell me what you think of Kemba. I'm seeing a lot of Celtics fans just, they don't know what to think of Kemba. They, they just don't know what to do with him. He's just here. Uh, Marcus Smart, first half, he was shooting well. Second half, not so much. Uh, they, they were trying, man. They were doing their thing. Boston, they tried to hold on to this lead for so long. But as soon as they lost it, we knew they weren't getting it back. So they focused on trying to cut you know, the, the Nets started moving forward and getting themselves a lead of their own. But, but I'm not Brooklyn. Boston was right there, keeping it close all the way into the fourth, keeping it close into a good chunk, until like, what, six or five minutes left in the game. Boston was still there, still competing. And then once you got to under five minutes, all of a sudden, you know, the Nets just took over and the lead became double digits. And once that lead became double digits, we all knew the game was over. But in all honesty, as soon as I started seeing KD cook, I was like, this is game's a wrap. KD's cooking, Harden's hitting step back threes, Kyrie's dancing on people, he hitting threes, Joe Harris is hitting threes in the corner. I mean, what are you going to do at this point? What are you going to do? What can you possibly do to defend this? Good Lord. Eastern Conference, you got to be scared. Big three put up 82 points. They haven't played 
many games together this season. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. But you know what? It is what it is. Boston, I know most Celtics fans aren't even, you know, thinking they have a shot at this. They just want to see if they can win a game. Honestly, I've, I've seen a lot of Celtics fans, you know, their first priority is to make sure that Jason Tatum does not get injured because you don't want that to happen. Uh, let me get a quick knock on woods for that man's safety and everyone's safety because, you know, you, you don't need that. But second off, like, they're just trying to make sure they just got out of this healthy. But if they can steal a game from Brooklyn, that would be nice. That would be nice. But, you know, let's be honest, uh, Boston, they tried to compete in this first game. They did well. They started off well. But it was only a matter of time before Brooklyn took over, and we knew the game was over as soon as that happened. So, you know, in terms of that series, I think that's going to be a quick series. If we get to five games, I'll be shocked, but that's that's going to be quick work for the Brooklyn Nets. But uh, other than that, yeah, you know, the big three, KD, Kyrie, Harden, they looked, they didn't shoot well today, but despite that, they still played fantastic as a, as a unit they didn't shoot the ball well but they were able to combine for 82 points which was the bulk of the entire team's points i think they yeah they had 82 and the rest of the squad had 22 so the big three was doing their thing tonight and there's no way you're gonna stop that so they obviously they're gonna continue to work on building up their chemistry because again they haven't played as i've said a thousand times already they haven't played on the court with each other that much this season they have what seven eight games they haven't been on the court together as a trio that long this season so you know there's still some things they got to work on in terms of their chemistry in terms of how they want to kind of distribute the ball how they want to play that sort of how they want to run their offense for the most part in terms of how they get the ball to Harden, how they share the Kyrie, how do they get it to kd in terms of getting that together so once they do get that together honestly I don't know what team's beating that. If these three can get completely on sync and they start taking over, it's going to be bad. Like I said, the big three played, you know, they played great tonight. But we know the abilities that James Harden brings as a passer and how he's able to get everyone else involved. James Harden is good. He's good for a solid uh, like 10, 11, 12 assists a game. If he gets that going... And we start spreading the ball. Trust me, this team is putting up more than 104 points. Tonight was one of those nights where, like, it's not that big of a scoring for this. In terms of output as a team, the scoring wasn't that much. But for the big three, it was. However, with the abilities were hard, and you know it could be much more. So once they really get this chemistry down, you're going to see higher scoring games for these guys. But, yeah, Boston, you held on as long as you could. You know, we'll see what you guys do in game two. There's not much hope for you guys, but... As long as you fight to the bitter end, you can live with the results. With that being said, Brooklyn takes game one. They look incredibly dangerous, and they're only going to get better as the playoffs go. We'll see what happens with this. I'm frightened by them, but you know, it is what it is. With that being said, that's all I got, and I'm out of here, man. Peace.